Thank you. Uh, the camera. Kai <laughs> Teke! There, translate that one, Your Reverend. <laughs> uh, uh, next, please. How do you do, Mr. Governor? <laughs> Let my lands be returned to me, which have been stolen by the missionaries. Who will return our lands to us? Uh, I can assure you that uh, all lands unjustly held will be returned. <laughs> this is good. Baker. Hold on, my Baker. Hold on, my Baker. Oi, translate what the man says. I'm doing my utmost. He said he was robbed of his land. He did not. Sir, are you offering to assist Mr. Williams in his translation? Just recommending he says what they says. Order! It's been suggested you don't fully comprehend the local vernacular. I have no such concerns. You felt competent to translate the treaty? Yeah, assisted by my son Edward, who was raised here amongst the Ngāpuhi. I've always done my very best for these people. My conscience is clear. Order! Land commissioners will examine, will examine into land held by the missionaries as strictly as any other. As any other! The people should recollect, were it not for the missionaries, they would not be here this day, nor be in possession of one foot of land in New Zealand. If any one person has prior claim to land in this country, that person must be the missionary who has labored for so many years in this land when others were afraid to show their noses. I have 11 children. Busy boy! 11 children! And what are they to do when I'm taken from them if they don't have land? Here, here! I am happy to say I do own some land. Because after having served the government for 15 years, no provision has been made for myself and my family. And that's all I wanted to say. Really? Well, uh, perhaps we should uh, hear from our next uh, chief. Hakarongo pea tato, king rangatira. Well, the problem is a few of the missionaries have taken advantage of their situation. Naturally, the natives are aggrieved. Chief Rewa spoke against the treaty, and he's an important man. So did Wai and Harako. And then finally, Kawati took the floor. What is the want here? Now go back. We native men do not wish for you to stay. We do not wish to be trodden down. We are free. I will never say yes to you sitting here. Yesterday I was cursed by a white man. Is, is that straight? White gives us a pound for a pig. He gives the white four pounds for such a pig. Is that straight? If they would listen to you and obey, then in good. But have they ever listened to Busby? No. No, he's a, he's a man of yesterday. So go back. Be gone.
Te pai hoki o te aho o te tame hei hei. I ronga i te mate ngā Hobson. <laughs> what did he say? Just traditional greeting. Liar! <laughs> Me hiki ki ronga. Me tuku ki ra. To raise up or bring down? Me peha. Ko teha. Which is it to be? Ko teha! Ooh. Who knows? The raw one, eh? Noho. Sit, Governor. Noho, my me mata. Stay with us. Me kore kwe. Ka me me ha mata, ka ngaro mata. Tangata whenua. Without you, we natives are nothing. Gone, eh? Extinct. Ka me ha mata. What then shall we do? Ko wai mata. Who are we? Ah, the raw one. Noho mai, he matua mo mata. Sit, Governor. A father for us. It is a good thing that you're here. It is even as the word of God. Who says that thou shall leave us? No. No, no. But then the, the rum sellers and the French people will have us natives. No, my. Remain. No, my. Remain you. Sit you with the missionaries. All is one. We natives are children. Yes, mere children. It is for you, our fathers. You missionaries to decide what it shall be. We are only natives. Sit, a father, and a governor for us. <laughs> <laughs> it was a noble and most gracious speech. I've known Hone Heke since he was a cheeky and troublesome lad at the mission school. But he's grown into manhood well. Na, Titiro! Kakite <laughs> Is not the land already gone? Is it not covered with foreigners? What do you say? Governor, go back. I'm sick. I am dead. I am killed by you. Had you spoken thus in the old times when the the grog sellers and the traders first came. He turned them right away. Then you could say to the governor, go back. But you've sold your land. Drunk their rum. Bought their guns. Now as things are. No governor said. Go. Ko tamati wakanene ki ana. I tamati wakanene say to thee. No mai to mata matua ite rongo. Stay thou our friend, our father. He kawana. Our governor. A moving and convincing speech. These really are of a most noble race. Ah, me anoa ka 
shall I say on this great occasion in the presence of all those great chiefs of both countries? A point of interest, these chiefs are not just brothers connected by blood, they're also connected by this man. Last year I baptized Nene, and just ten days ago it was the turn of his older brother Patswane to be washed clean of sin. Indeed, I believe this may help our cause. This is my word to you, O Governor. No, no, my. Sit. Stay thou. And to the missionaries, and the word of God. That the French have us not. That Picopo, a bad man, have us not. No, my. Remain, Governor. Na kwa ju ka to mai kita ku chima tera ta ta ka kite we shall see we shall see